Thank you so much for being here today. It means a lot to me. I have uh, some notes. I just grabbed some notes. I, I normally don't have notes for class, but I feel like I may get thrown, <laughs> thrown off in this class. I started getting a little emotional seeing your names here and um, just feeling the, the beautiful healing energy and friendship. Um, anyway, thank you. <sighs> I'd like to begin by thanking um, those of you that made the time to be here, by thanking those of you that donated to Sheena's Place. Uh, Sheena's Place is an organization in Toronto that helped my sister a lot throughout her life. They offer programs for people dealing with eating disorders, for the families as well, uh, support groups. So thank you for that. And I would like to thank my sister Gabriella for bringing us together today. Gabriella was born on this day in 1980. She was one of my greatest teachers in this life. She continues to teach me every day my understanding of life and death evolves every day because of her. And I think whether you knew Gabriella or not, uh, part of you has probably identified with the pain of a loss. This beautiful part of human beings that allows us to feel compassion, to feel the suffering of another, this bonding experience. And I'd like to honor that part of all of us, that tender place in our hearts that has um, pain, but also the potential for so much awakening and, and beauty. So let's begin together in community, in friendship, closing our eyes and allowing our attention to arrive here in this moment, meeting life as is. Notice your body with the pelvis neutral, the spine upright, soften the shoulders away from ears, allow the facial expression to relax and observe the aliveness, how magical it is to be alive in this moment. Watch your breath entering the body through the nose, bringing in prana and leaving the body through the nose, carrying away anything that no longer supports you in our journey. Allow your heart to expand each time you breathe in, expanding with compassion, with forgiveness, with patience, with love, with understanding. And each time you exhale, allow your heart to soften. Allow there to be a sense of ease, a sense of peace. And keep watching your breath, anchoring yourself into this moment, holding space for yourself and for each other. The same way that we are affected 
by one another's suffering. I believe we are also greatly affected by one another's healing. And may this practice help us all breathe through whatever is happening in our lives, heal, expand our awareness, expand our hearts, our minds, but starting with being very kind to ourselves, holding our own struggles with so much tenderness, because once we can do that for ourselves, it is much easier to extend that kindness and that compassion to others. Just a few more breaths here, nice and simple, getting anchored. And then we're going to chant two mantras. I am going to chant. You can just listen, feel the vibrations, or hum, or sing along. I'll tell you the meaning of these two chants in just a moment. So join your hands together at the heart. And before we start this first chant, bring to your heart and to your mind teachers in this lifetime. They can be people, they can be circumstances, they can be experiences. All those that came into your life to teach you something, to help you grow, to help you evolve, to help you become a better human being. Hold them in your heart, see them right here with you as guides in this journey. And I'm going to begin the first chant. Om Asatoma Sat Gamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityor Amritam Gamaya Om Shanti 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 Hi Om, peace, peace, peace. The translation of this chant is, may I be guided from what is untruth to what is truth, from darkness to light, from the concept of death to the remembrance that the soul is immortal. And we'll now chant, another beautiful chant for freedom. Inhale. Loka samasta sukino bhavantu. Loka samasta sukino bhavantu. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free from suffering. May the thoughts, words, and actions of our own lives contribute in some way to that happiness and to that freedom for all. Namaste. Honoring the light in each other, we will begin moving the body. Allow your hands to touch the floor by your hips. We'll move gently today. Inhale, circle the arms, reach them up overhead. Exhale, turn your palms out and touch the ground, get taller, contracting the low belly. Circle again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, open and lower the arms. Circle one more time, inhale, lift. Open the arms as you exhale, interlace hands behind your hips. Extend your arms and let the chest spread open, the area of the spiritual heart right at the center of the chest, Anahata Chakra. 
connecting to love, unconditional love, love that understands, love that forgives, love that heals. Take one more deep breath here into the heart space. And as you exhale, releasing your hands, join the palms in front of the heart again. And if you'd like to create an intention for this practice or dedicate the benefits, the merits of your practice to someone or something, you can do that now. Close your eyes, connect to your heart. And whatever comes up is just fine. This is the practice, is to be with life as is, welcoming it all. Rub the palms against each other, create heat. And then cup your eyes. Cup your eyes, let there be a sense of Relaxation around the eyes. Cleansing our ability to see truth, to see beauty. And then very gently slide your hands down the face. And we're going to tap the heart space. Just gentle taps here. You can keep your eyes open or closed. This will help free up the heart center. It will help breathe through any hard emotions, any grief, any pain. Keep breathing as you feel your palms gently tapping the heart space. And then Continue to tap onto the shoulders or anywhere else where you feel there's tension accumulated. Bring up any trapped emotional stuff, any energetic blockages, gentle taps. Wonderful. From here, please bring the soles of your feet together or close together and your knees pointing out. This is the butterfly pose, Baddha Konasana, Bound Angle pose. So we're going to sit in butterfly for a moment. Some of you know that my sister Gabriella used to love butterflies for all that they represent from the transformative aspect to the beauty. And we'll take a moment here to honor Gabriella. If you knew her, bring her to mind, to heart. And perhaps remember your most favorite time with Gabriella, a time when she was happy, she was smiling, she was laughing, she was dancing. And if you didn't know Gabriella, you can visualize a yellow butterfly. Yellow butterfly fluttering around free. Let's flap the wings off our butterflies, moving the knees up and down, freeing up the hips. The area of the hips is connected to the second chakra where we hold our emotions. So here we free up the hips, allowing, again, emotions to be free, <laughs> allowing ourselves to feel it all. Lovely. And just a couple more moments here, fluttering the wings of the butterfly, flapping the wings. And then we'll bring our knees up. Separate the feet in front of you. Feet flat on the floor, wider than the hips. Take your hands behind you. Take a deep breath in. 
As you breathe out, let your knees fall to the left. Come back to center, breathe in. Breathe out, knees the other way. Back to center, inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up one more time. Excite, exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Come back to center again and transition into child's pose, Balasana. So coming onto the hands and knees, we'll sit back onto the heels. Arms straight forward by the head, top or forehead resting on the floor. Continuing to connect to breath, to be fully present in the body. Notice the muscles in the back lengthening. And watch the expansion as you breathe in. Softening into newfound space as you breathe out. And keeping your hips back by the heels, walk your hands over to the right. Keep your head right between the arms. Notice the stretch on the left side of your body. And stay very kind, very patient. If the mind is busy, if it's going to the future, to the past, simply bring it back each time you notice you're not present. Bring it back to feel your body, to be with what's truly here in this moment. Now walk your hands over to the left, breathing into the right side of your back. The next stays long. My sister Gabriella and I took a lot of yoga classes together. We used to go in the evenings to a restorative class. For a long time, we did that. And I really looked forward to those those times we spent together with each other without needing to discuss anything, just being together, you know, healing like we're doing now, breathing through life, supporting each other. Let's come back to center. With the fingers spread wide, bring your weight forward onto your hands and knees, curl the toes under, downward facing dog, lift the hips up and back. Adumukha Svanasana, keep your head down and move around in the way that you like. Let your body be free to move. Maybe the hips move side to side, bending one knee at a time or the heels can move. There are no rules. Freeing up. As we free up the body, we free up the different layers of our being, they're all connected. So we're freeing up the emotional body, the spiritual body, the mental body. Pause in center. Inhale, glide forward into plank pose, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, move back into downward facing dog, send the hips up and back. And do it again a few more times. Inhale, coming forward. We're building some fire. Exhale, move the hips up and back. Come forward again, navel into spine, plank pose. Hips up and back on the exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Last time, coming forward, breathing in. Stay here as you breathe out. Let there be heat. Feel your strength. Feel how powerful you are. It's okay to lower knees to floor. Take one more breath here, connecting to fire, Agni, fire that helps us transform. And then lower your knees to floor. Move your hips around in circles. Continue to free up the body. We've stirred up some fire. As one of my teachers says, compassion is beautiful, but compassion is in action. Compassion in action 
is so, so impactful. When we use our compassion to ignite change, whether it's something we're changing in our own lives or action to help another alleviate their suffering, compassion in action is what we aim for. Move your hips in the other direction. Close your eyes to really feel, to really be in your body. This is your time to be with yourself and together in community by doing this together, we're supporting one another. We're healing together. Pause back in center. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. You can make a fist to give uh, your wrists a break if you like. And then inhale, extend your right leg back, look forward. Exhale, bring knee to nose, round your back. Extend your right leg back, look ahead, breathing in. Breathe out, knee to nose. Inhale, leg straight back, shoulders down. Exhale, knee in. Again, extend the leg, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Lower your knee to switch sides, left leg back, inhale, look forward. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, look forward, open heart. Exhale, draw the knee in. Two more, inhale, leg back, look forward. Exhale, bring the knee in. Last time, inhale. Exhale, knee comes in. Lower your knee. And now extend your right leg back with your toes on the floor. Move your left foot outside the mat to the left, like a kickstand. Turn your whole body to the right, reach your right arm up and then overhead. Relax your right shoulder, left shoulder. Keep your hips right between your left knee and your right foot. And here, begin to circle around your arm, right arm. You can look anywhere you like as long as your neck feels fine. And by moving the arm, we are clearing up Anahata Chakra, freeing up the heart space. We're going to pause by reaching the right arm back. So like you're catching a sunbeam or rain falling from the sky. Some of you may like to bend the right knee, hold the top of the right foot, and then press the foot away from hip. Keep navel into spine, protecting your low back. Open up the chest. And let your breathing be easy. Take one more deep breath. Then lower the right foot to floor, reach the arm overhead once again. Gaze at the floor, lower your hand, lower your knee, reset in tabletop position. Inhale, lift the chest, two rounds of cat and cow to neutralize spine. Exhale, round your back. Lift the chest again as you breathe in, neck is long. Breathe out, contract the belly and round. Pause in neutral, neutral spine. Extend your left leg back behind you. Right foot outside the mat like a kickstand. Open up the chest, reach your arm up as you turn your body left and then reach overhead. Soften both shoulders. And just enjoy the side stretch. Keep breathing out any layers of tension, of stress, any outdated beliefs or patterns that no longer serve you. Circle your arm when you're ready. Freeing up the heart. Unrushed. There's nowhere else to be right now. We're fully here, meeting ourselves where we are at this point in our lives. Grateful for it all, for all that has brought us here, all the learning, all the lessons, all the experiences. And then we can pause with this arm reaching back, the palm facing up, long neck. 
maybe bending the knee if you did so on the first side hold the top of your foot and press it away from hip maintain your lower abdominals engaged the breath is easy slowly release your foot back down reach the arm overhead whoops <laughs> looking down lower your hand lower your knee sit back into a child's pose again Moments of rest are so important. We take action when action is necessary and we rest to recharge, to renew, to heal. With the arms straight forward, inhale, come forward onto hands and knees. Bend your elbows into the waist and lower either halfway to the floor or all the way down. And here, either upward dog or a little cobra. If you wanna move into upward dog, arms straight, shoulders directly over the elbows and wrists. Navel into spine, your knees could lift off the floor for the, for the full expression of Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. One more breath. And contracting the low belly even more as you exhale, lift your hips up and back into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. <sighs> Walk your hands back towards your feet. All the weight will come to the feet. Hold on to elbows or forearms and sway torso from side to side. Free up the spine, let there be space between the vertebral discs. You can bend the knees as much as you like. And then pause in center for a moment. Forward bends help us breathe out past the back of the body in yoga psychology relates to past experiences. So we're freeing up anything that we no longer need to carry with us. Letting what comes come, letting what, letting what goes go and being present to what remains. With the knee slightly bent, let's roll up the spine coming to stand. Standing in mountain pose, Tadasana. Take a moment to anchor down. The feet can be hip distance apart. Pick up your toes, spread them wide and lower them down. Create deep roots into the earth, connect to mother earth. And I'd like to do a pranayama practice here standing. That reminds me of my sister as well. Um, it's, the, it's the buzzing bee breath. She wasn't particularly fond of insects, don't get me wrong. I think uh, uh, butterflies were the only insect that she liked and, and probably far away from her. But, but um, you know, we, we call her bee in the family and by her close friends, we call her bee, a short form for Gabriella. So we're doing the buzzing bee breath, which is a wonderful pranayama to calm the mind and to alleviate anxiety. Simple way of doing it, index fingers, plug the ears. And then every time we exhale, we're going to make the sound of a honeybee. You can choose your own peach, you can play with different peaches. So let's inhale and we'll do it a bunch of times. Exhale like a buzzing bee. Keep doing it on your own time, nobody can hear you. Every time you exhale, you make a humming sound with your mouth closed. Mm. Notice where the sound resonates in your body, where you feel the vibrations. Let there be healing right there. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
close your eyes and do a few more of these. Let the exhalations be very long. So the sound very long, dissolving into silence. Just a couple more, unrushed, breathing in fully and breathing out slowly with the humming sound of a bee. Release your fingers from your ears and just touch the heart space. One palm can be on top of the other. Keep your eyes closed. Just notice how you feel. There's no specific feeling we're looking for. Just be with what is present for you. What is your experience of this moment? Can you be with it? And we'll now move into sun salutations, beginning with half Ardha Surya Namaskar. Circle the arms, inhale, lift them up by the head. Fold down over your legs, exhale, bow. Look forward, inhale, halfway up, shoulders back. Fold again, bend your knees as you exhale. Roll up the spine, circle the arms, inhale, reach them high. Bring this energy into your heart. Again, circle the arms, a big sun. My sister loved the sun. Exhale, fold, release your head. Look forward, inhale, shoulders back, draw the navel in. And fold again, bend the knees as you exhale. Roll up the spine, gathering warmth, gathering vibrancy from Surya. Bring it to your heart. Inhale, circle. Now a full sun salutation. Fold down. Exhale, Uttanasana over your legs. Halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Come into a plank pose. Exhale into plank. Walk your hands forward as needed. Take a breath in plank. Inhale, feel your strength. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way down. Lift the chest, extend the arms, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog all the way back. Inhale here. Contraction of the low belly. Exhale, get empty. Lift up your heels as you inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Look between your hands and step or hop forward. Come to a flat back. Inhale. Fold down over legs, exhale, bend the knees, roll up your spine, circle arms, inhale, reach high. Exhale, hands to heart. From the heart now, reach up. Reach your chest forward, make this an offering as you exhale, bow down. Step your right foot back, lower your knee to floor, moving into a lunge, crescent lunge, Raise your arms by the head. So this is a crescent lunge pose, a crescent moon shape from the back foot up into the hands. Bend your left elbow and tuck it in. Use your right hand on the elbow to help it come in. Relax your shoulders and then reach your right arm out and under, interlacing your hands behind your upper back. If this doesn't work, don't you worry. Just keep your hand on your elbow. Nothing to worry about right now. Time to free up the body, to free up the mind, to heal the heart. Take one more breath. And next time you inhale, reach your arms up. Bring your hands to the floor as you exhale. The right hand stays down, left hand comes to hip for a twist, gaze over your left shoulder, and then reach your left arm up. Draw the shoulder heads back, the waist is long on the left side, 
Some of you may like to curl the right toes and straighten the right leg. Adjust so this feels right for your body right now. Freeing, empowering. One more breath. We'll bring the left hand back down to floor. Step into a plank pose. Take one breath. Lower both knees down. Sit into child's pose as you exhale. And stay here for one breath. Inhale, expand. And stay softly exhaling. Come forward into plank. You can be on your knees. Breathe out, bend the elbows halfway or all the way down, elbows into waist. Extend your arms into upward dog, belly in, downward facing dog. This is our last standing sequence, just so you know, and we're coming to more restorative. Lift up the heels, bend the knees, look forward, step your feet between the hands, inhale Ardha Uttanasana, halfway up, fold down Uttanasana. Step your left foot back, knee to floor, crescent lunge on the other side, raise the arms, soften shoulders. Bending now the right elbow, tuck it in, touch the upper back, and if you like to bind, left arm reaches out, palm turns back, thumb down as you bind. Send your head back into the arm, let the neck be long, let the chest, the heart be open, welcoming it all. The next inhalation, extend the arms, lower the hands down, exhale. Bring your right hand to your hip for the twist, gaze over shoulder. You can extend the arm, you can also extend the leg if you like. Shoulder heads back. Be in the body, be with your breath, be with what comes up. Last breath here in the twisted lunge. Bringing this hand down, step into plank, inhale, it's the last plank. Exhale, knees down, sit back into child's pose. Stay for a breath, inhale. Exhale completely. Coming forward again onto the hands and knees, bend the elbows, lower halfway down. Extend the arms, open heart, belly in. Downward dog, last one. Release the head. Keep moving chest to the space between your legs. Last breath in Adho Mukha Shvanasana. And finishing the exhalation, we bend the knees, look forward and step between the hands. Come to flat back, inhale. Bend the knees to sit on the floor, however you can. Get down to sit. Extend both of your legs forward, have room to lie down behind. Point your feet, reach your arms forward, shoulder height, inhale. Slowly come on down as you exhale, round your back. Maintain your big toes together and make your way down to the earth. Once your head touches the floor, hugging the knees, give yourself a warm embrace. And include now in your hug, somebody that you'd love to be hugging right now. And know that you can, that you can energetically hug that person. Let them feel this hug, your warmth, your love. Believe. Anything that you believe is possible and it's true.
Just a couple more breaths in Apanasana. Letting the back relax, perhaps rocking a bit side to side as you continue to give someone an energetic hug and maybe you include others in your hug. Those of you that knew my sister, I can't help, of course, thinking about her, but she was one of the greatest huggers. <laughs> she, she used to come in for that bear hug each time. And sometimes she wouldn't let go. She would just keep hugging. <laughs> Keep your right knee in, straighten your left leg down onto the floor. Reach your right arm out to the right and use your, le use your left hand to guide your right knee across the body over to the left. Gaze over your right shoulder, letting your head so gently. Keep the right hip down away from the armpit. So lots of space on the raised right side. The eyes can be closed, the attention is inside. Notice what is expanding in the body, in the mind, in the heart. And what is softening. without needing to control anything. Let it naturally happen. Inhale, expansion, awareness, healing. Exhale. Continuing to soften. Last breath here without any rush. Bring your knee back up and hug it into chest. Now the left knee comes up, right foot to floor, straighten that leg down. Left arm reaches out and we guide this left knee across the body over to the right, adjust the shoulder blades, turn your head left. And keeping the outer left hip away from shoulder, we breathe, that is the work. Simple. It's so incredibly healing. We practice being with life, with all of it the ups, the downs, the in-betweens. Awake to the miracle that it is to be alive. The lessons. Keep softening. Deeper and deeper softening with each exhale. Becoming more and more at ease. Just one more breath here.
and bring this knee back up and hug it in. Bring the right knee up as well. Place your hands on your kneecaps, patella, and draw them forward away from chest, just for a moment. Notice your sacrum heavier, pressing into the floor. Notice the release throughout the back, the spine. And then place your left foot on the floor and cross your right ankle over your left thigh for a nice hip opener. You can keep your left foot down or lift it up and interlace hands behind left thigh or in front of shin. The waist is long, both sides. The neck is free of tension. Flexing the right foot will help maintain the correct alignment of the ankle joint and the knee joint. You wanna try that. And Again, just continue the work of being present. Being present to your experience. And the more we practice being present, the easier it is to be present with challenging situations in life to see things from the perspective of an observer, not caught into the drama, being able to see from a clear perspective, to stay centered. another breath here. The left foot will come down and then the right foot. We can switch legs, left ankle crosses on top, right foot can lift up, interlace hands in front of shin or behind thigh. Be with your breath. It sounds very simple and it is, but it's not necessarily easy always. It is, however, always a good idea to be present. So we practice. And no effort in this path is ever wasted. Each breath we spend in compassionate awareness will create an imprint in our consciousness, in our bodies, so that it is easier to return to this awareness when we need it the most. Last breath here. Right foot comes down, left foot comes down. Happy baby will be our last asana before Shavasana. So Ananda Balasana, draw your knees into armpits, soles up, grab the outer edges of feet if you can or somewhere along your legs. Maintain that heaven is in the sacral area. And you can rock around, you can stretch your legs. Again, let your body do what it wants to do. Trusting your highest guru, the one that lives within. We'll now prepare for the final relaxation, final rest, Shavasana. So you can allow your feet to come down and 
position your body in any way that is comfortable. If there's low back tension, you could have your knees bent or a pillow under your knees, or we have the legs straight down, palms facing up, adjust shoulder blades down the back. If you've got props around, remember to use those, eye pillows, blankets, whatever you like. And the last few minutes will be spent lying down. So observe your body resting now. Feel the support. The support of Mother Earth. Let yourself be taken care of. There's absolutely nothing to control at this point. It's an opportunity to practice surrendering and trusting life. Allow your feet to relax all the toes, the ankles, lower legs, knees, upper legs, hips, pelvis, the abdominal area, rib cage, chest, upper back, middle back, lower back. Let the shoulders relax, upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, every finger. Let the throat and the neck relax chin, lips, tongue, jaw, whole mouth, the ears, temples, eyes, center of the eyebrows, nose, forehead, Scalp, brain, the entire body is relaxed into its natural state of ease, of comfort. Let there be healing without having to do anything. And continue to allow yourself to rest. Letting the wisdom of the body take over. Replenishing, restoring. Visualize yourself lying on a white sandy beach. The ocean is calm. You can hear the gentle sound of the waves. It is a warm summer day. Late afternoon, almost sunset. the golden hour. 
Allow yourself to receive the healing energy of the sun, the high vibrations. And as you continue resting in this sandy beach, visualize a yellow butterfly flying just above you, a beautiful, delicate, joyful yellow butterfly. Allow it to gently land on your heart. Happiness is like a butterfly, which when pursued is always just beyond grasp. But if we sit down quietly, it comes to you naturally. A few more breaths lying down, enjoying the presence of the butterfly. A reminder to be awake to life. present to each experience. To move through life with grace. In friendship. If you would like to remain lying a little longer, please do so. If you want to close the practice sitting up, begin moving your hands and your feet, ankles and wrists, stretching out. And then hugging the knees once again, rolling over to one side, fetal position, a symbol for a rebirth. And then we sit up nice and tall. Long spine open heart, the eyes can stay closed a bit longer. Meet yourself where you are right now. We are not who we were an hour ago, in some ways, in other ways, or in one other way, will always be the same. <laughs> that deep part of us that is unchanging, unaffected by the ups and downs of life, life is always there. However, just meet that part of you that is transformed by each experience if you're fully present to it. That part of you that knows it is more than this body and this mind and this heart even. Yeah. 
and just sit with it, with your experience of this moment. Allow anything that comes up to be here, hold it with compassion, with kindness, with patience, with understanding. And then join hands together at heart in gratitude. In gratitude for the beauty of this life, the privilege of having this experience. And if there's someone that you would like to bring to your heart now, do so. Thank them for the lessons for having touched your life. They say some people come into our lives for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. My sister came into my life for all of that and beyond. And I know she will always be with those of you that knew her as well. So once again, I thank her for bringing us together here today, for her teachings, for awakening our hearts, And we'll close with the chant for freedom once again. Inhale. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu May all beings everywhere be happy and free from suffering. May the thoughts, words, and actions of our own lives contribute in some way to that happiness and to that freedom for all. Namaste. Thank you, friends, for this beautiful energy we created together. Know that you have made a difference in my life personally today. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Just looking at all your names here. Wow, my heart is full. Thank you. We'll do this every year on May 29th.